In a certain hospital, a man is lying on a bed in a critical condition, supported by oxygen. The flower pot next to his bed, one of its petals falls and drops on that man's face. This wakes the man, who is confused and shocked about the situation. Then he realizes that he has regressed, and he doesn't have both of his legs. Then a lady comes there, his sister, who is very happy to see that her brother has finally awakened. She gives him a big hug. She was so worried about him, and now she is relieved to see him finally wake. Promises him that she will find the driver who caused the accident and avenge her brother. As for his legs, she gets ready to do anything to heal them. He notices that he has regressed back to a year ago. A year ago, he was hit by a car, which sent him flying, rotating in the air multiple times. That accident turned the youngest billionaire in the country. Chairman of Zuri International Group turned him into a cripple, and as he was busy with his treatment, there was this guy named Chiang Kai, his best friend, a snake in the human skin. Our main character Shen King considered Xiao Chiang Kai as his most trusted brother, but Tang Kai betrayed him. Tang Kai took the opportunity to seize Zuri International Group from Shen King and even threatened King's sister with his health, saying that she must marry him to continue Shen King's treatment. King, who has already lost his legs, couldn't do anything to help his sister. All he could do was crawl on the ground. Tang Kai even kissed his sister right in front of his eyes, but her brother couldn't do anything to help her. He called for her brother to save her. But how can a guy without legs could save her? That bastard took everything from him. And later that year, a game called Shen 2 emerged, jointly developed by multiple countries. With 100% realism, the gold in the game can be exchanged for real-world currency, and it became a global sensation. And there was more to that game. The character's attributes in the game could affect reality, thus making players gain magical powers in real life. That could have been King's best chance to turn his fate around. But at that time, he was completely broke. Without money to support him, he ended up stuck in mediocrity. It became very difficult for him to seek revenge on Xiao Chankai. Xiao Chankai used King's former assets to wildly spend in the game, acquiring the best gaming resources and attributes. He reached the level of achievement that no one else can attain. That should all have been King's, but that bastard took it from him. So he planned something, called Chankai at his house, where he planted explosive bombs everywhere. Even if he dies in the process, he wants to kill Chiang Kai no matter what. So he exploded himself along with Chiang Kai. King suffered heavy damage from that explosion. He was on the verge of death. But that explosion did nothing to Chiang Kai. With the power he gained in the Shen 2, that little explosion couldn't harm him. Before killing Shen King, Chiang Kai informed him that his legs and his parents' deaths were all his doing. And now the last bloodline of the Shen family will take his name. Chiang Kai really did a nasty one with him. He killed King's family, make him cripple and took his sister. King really wanted to kill him, but Chiang Kai's leg was on his face. After Chiang Kai killed him, something happened, and he regressed. He doesn't know why he regressed, but this is once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for him to get back at that bastard for killing his parents, destroying his life and his sisters. First, he calms down his crying sister. This time, he gets ready to protect his sister and his parents' legacy, no matter what, and tear that son of a gun Chiang Kai into pieces. He is going to give back in tenfolds of what Chiang Kai did to him. Even though he has regressed, he still doesn't have his legs. So to turn the table, he gets ready to play the game that has just launched today. Shen 2, and seeing his face like that, sister starts to worry about him, gets ready to call a doctor for him. He stops her and tells her to do something urgent for him. He tells her to buy him a gaming pod, a Shen 2 gaming pod. This surprises her. Her brother is suddenly asking for a gaming pod. Chiang Kai comes there, asking King, when did he start liking gaming? And he is worried about King if he becomes addicted to games. What will happen to the company? To fool Chiang Kai, King tells him that he can't do anything. Now that his legs are gone, that's why he wants to play some games to spend his time. Chiang Kai has also heard about this game that just launched today. And the gaming pods are limited to 100 units. So to get one they will have to pay extra. And the price has already gone up to 300 million. But King doesn't care about the price. After all, he still has the right to use the company's money. Even if it's 30 billion. He gets ready to get one. Xiao Chiang Kai gets ready to get one for him. And he is happy thinking that King will play the game and he will handle the company. He gets ready to go and get that gaming pod with King's sister. Her name is Xiao Tong. But King pulls her towards him, saying that he wants to talk with his sister tonight and wants her to keep him company. This time, he doesn't want that son of a gun to lay a finger on his sister. Chiang Kai seems to notice the heavy air around Shen King. So he leaves from there to get that gaming pod. And, he is mad at the hitman because he didn't manage to kill Shen King. Next time, he gets ready to hit Shen King with an oil tanker. After that, Shen King tells his sister to transfer all his money to the game, and sell all the company's stocks. She is shocked to hear that wonders if her brother is sick. But he is not sick, he is planning for the future, just going to make a big gamble. 
Now I want to see Chiang Kai's face when he learns that the company's stocks are all sold. After three hours, his gaming pod arrived and it cost him 500 million. Now he is all ready. He gets ready to change his life. He comes into the game system. The game asks him to enter his name. He enters his name as Jiajin Wen Chi. The game has many classes, like warrior, mage, ranger, assassin, priest, knight, and summoner. He chooses the one that he is familiar with, and that is the ranger. He successfully changes into a ranger. His clothes changed after he chose that ranger class. He becomes a VIP user of the gaming pod, and triggered a special reward, Elf Bloodline. With the Elf Bloodline, he can gain the favor of the elves. The Elf Bloodline is an epic bloodline and also has epic effect, like gaining 10% accuracy, 10% critical rate, 10% dodge, and 15% movement speed. As a VIP user, he triggers another special reward, a skill book. The skill is weakness detection. He can discover the target's weaknesses, and attacking the weak spot will deal 150 to 200% damage, and it will consume 20 mana, and the cooldown is 120 seconds. He has mastered this same skill in his previous life. He also received a special exclusive chest for being the top 100 global purchasers of the gaming pod. He didn't get this chest in his last life, and the chest contains a rare talent and acquiring it requires 50 million gold. He is shocked to see that because 50 million in the game is equal to 500 million RMB. He gets ready to spend 500 million or Chiang Kai will take everything later. Talent's abilities are a random attribute that every new player can acquire, and it's said that the earlier a player enters the game, the rarer Tay talent ability they obtain. In his previous life, he got an additional damage effect, which helped him immensely in countless battles. The system notifies him that 500 million gold coins recharged. He is spending big this time, and is hoping to get something better. A golden light comes out from the chest. He has acquired a skill called Evolve Everything. He is surprised and happy to see such a great skill or talent. He first evolves his elf bloodline. Now not even the sky is a limit for him. Bro just spend 500 million for a skill. I wonder what is his net worth. And he transferred all his money in the game. He was even ready to bought the gaming pot at 30 billion. Now I really want to know his net worth. Wenji, let's call him Wenji in the game and Shen King outside the game. He is surprised to see the skill he just got. And the skill has two effects. 1. Passive Evolution 100% chance to upgrade a dropped item by 1 rank with a 5% chance of trigger intermediate evolution, upgrading the item by 2 rank. Note, evolution can surpass the highest current item rank. Effect 2 is Autonomous Evolution, 100% chance to upgrade any item, tool, skill or gem by 2 levels, with 10% chance to upgrade by 3 levels, cooldown is 24 hours. Note, this effect cannot stack with the passes effect, and the same effect can only evolve once. He is happy to get something this amazing by spending 50 million gold coins. He activates his skill, a shield like Captain America's appears on his hand. This is his new skill a game-changing ability. He comes to the place where there are many people who are surprised to see him. And at this point in time, other people are only able to get bronze and silver drop items. However, he, on the other hand, is able to get silver gold or even higher drop items. His 500 million was worth it. With this new power, he eggs ready to kill monsters and test the power of his skill with Tay dropped item. He gets ready to enter inside the game now and change his fate this time. He arrives at the beginner's village which is crowded with players and NPCs. He is surprised to see that many people, he thought that he'd be among the first. He never thought that there are quite a few rich folks in the world to spend 500 million for just a gaming pot. And those rich guys are chasing a chicken to get experience points. Which surprises other rich people, they didn't think that killing a chicken will give them experience points. Now they all are chasing after that poor chicken. They managed to kill that poor chicken and not only it give them experience point, it even dropped them a chicken meat. Wenji doesn't want to waste his time on that poor chicken. He is looking for something big, like the boss of the newbie village. He arrives in the forest. The system warns him to be more careful there because wild monsters are ahead. He gets ready to prepare to fight those wild monsters. Opens his inventory and is shocked to see his own weapons inside the inventory. His weapons a newbie bow and a cloth armor, and they don't have any evolutionary value to evolve them. Moreover, his evolution ability can only be used actively once a day. So he doesn't want to waste that on something that is not that useful. He doesn't have anything with more potential to evolve. Then he realizes something. He has something very important that he can evolve. And that is his bloodline. His elf bloodline. He evolves his elf bloodline. The color of the elf bloodline that was blue before changes to golden. His elf bloodline has evolved. The system congratulates him on successfully evolving his elf bloodline. His bloodline has evolved to elf king. And the changes of evolving his bloodline is 1. Strength Empowerment 50% hit rate, critical strike rate, attack speed, evasion, 
and 100% movement speed. 2 is life force, increase life limit by 1000 points, with an additional 100 points per level up. And 3 is life arrow, every third attack is a guaranteed critical hit. His HP increases by 1000. Now solo grinding monsters in the newbie zone isn't going to be a problem for him. Then he hears a howling from a distant. It's a level 2 forest wolf that has been surrounded by some players. Wenji also arrives there and is surprised to see that they are clever enough to form a team to kill monsters, which increases their safety, but will not get enough experience points. But they are not that clever. Their outdoor survival knowledge seems to be lacking. Fools attacked a wolf, and wolves are a pack animals. Now they are surrounded by the pack of that wolf. The wolf starts to attack them. The lady in the team asks for the team leader, her brother to save her. But he is also in the mouths of the wolves and is hoping to see them again at the respawn point. After some time, the team got wiped out. Now Wenji is ready to check the power of his attack. He shoots his arrow at a wolf which pierces through that wolf's head. Kill it instantly. He killed a level 2 monster. His elf king bloodline gets upgraded. Gains an additional 100 life points. He leveled up from level 1 to level 2. He gained 10 magic points and 5 free attribute points. Also obtained wolf meat, which can continuously regenerates his HP. And he seems to have forgot that there is more than just one wolf there. The other wolves are ready to attack him for killing their friend. The pack charges toward him. He also gets ready to check his another skill. Turns around. Uses his skill. 100% speed increased. He just vanished from there after using that skill. Arrives near a cliff. He is so fast that he jumps from that cliff to the other side. Surprised by this new skill. Because for an archer, speed is crucial. And without his divine talent, growing strong would have been very hard for him. Then he notices that the mud are not following him, so he stops to see what is going on with them. They are not chasing him and seems like they are scared of something. The system notifies him that he has entered the buffalo zone. There are big big buffaloes there. The wolves then leave from there. The buffaloes there are level 5 monster. A lady comes there calling him handsome. And she is not alone, she has her team with her. Invites him to join her team. The wizard in her team is against that idea, because Wanji is just level 2. If he joins them, they'd have to share their experience and he will hold them back. He also doesn't want to join their team and leave from there. The long-haired tall guy warns him that the next area is even more dangerous. He could be killed. The penalty for dying is he will lose all his gold and his equipment. Even though they are in a game, the pain and despair of dying are very real. Worst part of it is he will lost half of his hard-earned experience points. Wanji thanks him for the heads up, but he is still not joining them. The guy felt little embarrassed. He told Wan so many things, but Wan still didn't listen to him. The girl still wants him in her team. But the wizard thinks that he is an idiot that is looking for death, and they should not let someone like him in their group. Anyways, Wenji arrives in the place, the place of the biggest boss in the newbie zone, and the boss of that newbie zone is Giant Snake King. Wenji gets ready to find out its weak spot, activates his skill, the level of the boss is 10, and its weakness is back of its neck, and Wanji's HP is way higher than that boss's. His original HP of level 2 is 210. But thanks to the extra 1000 and additional 100, it is now 1310. He has nothing to scared of, gets ready to fight that boss head on. The boss also attacks him right away after seeing that bow. However, Wenji is faster than that boss, so he easily dodges that boss and attacks it on its back. But the attack only did 26 damage, and the arrow also bounced back. The snake also attacks him but he dodges all of that snake's attack. He finds an opening and shoots his arrow, but the snake blocks it with its tail. After that, Wang shoot three arrows at the snake consecutively. Two of the arrows didn't do any damage, but the third one hit the weak spot, but the damage is only 58. Now the boss gets ready to get serious, starts to breathe smoke from its mouth. It turns out to be a poison. He starts to lose 10 HP per second. The snake climbs to the higher ground so that Wang Ji won't be able to hit it, but that's not going to stop Wang Ji from shooting his arrow at it. This time, the arrow hits the snake right on the back of its neck, and the damage is 115 this time. Since the damage was too much, the snake falls down. Now the HP of the boss is 597, and Wanja's HP is also decreasing by 10 per second. His HP starts to decrease slowly by slowly. After some time, his HP is now 999, and the snake is not stopping its attacks. Thanks to his speed he is managing to dodge all of its attacks. He finds another opening, shoots that snake again. This time the attack hits the snake on its front neck, which deal a critical hit, and the damage is 200. The current HP of the snake is 370 now. This surprises him because the damage is higher than the damage on its weak spot. He wonders if it's because the belly is softer. And even if the back of its neck is its weak point, it is protected by scales. If that's the case, he gets ready to finish off that snake. Then he notices something. The snake seems to be laughing at him. The snake has trapped him. It hits the ground with its tail. 
The ground where Wang is standing starts to crumble. He falls down, there seems to be a pit there. And now the snake is at an advantage because it is on the higher ground. Next thing, the snake starts to spew poison again. Wang starts to lose 20 HP per second. Now this is getting dangerous, but that's not going to stop him. He takes out the wolf meat he got from earlier, eats it, because it can restore 20 HP per second, and increases speed by 10% and it lasts for 20 seconds. Now that his speed has increased by 10% more, he gets ready to get out from there. He climbs up that pit easily after that. The snake, who is spewing poison smoke, didn't see him coming up. This time, Wange hits its eye. The arrow perfectly hit its eye. The snake realizes that it's getting dangerous now, so it tries to run away from there. Wenji shoots another arrow, this one penetrates its scale. This anger the snake, it turns back, tries to fight again, but gets shocked to see Wenji, the aura around him, and the elf king mirage behind him. So the snake tries to run again. Wenji has already shot another arrow. He perfectly hit on the arrow he shot before. It pierced that arrow, and also the snake's head. The damage is 200, and with that, he killed the boss of the newbie zone. The poison status also gets removed after he killed that boss. The system congratulates him on being the first to kill the boss and achieving the server's first kill, earning a place on the glory board, and his accomplishment will be announced across the server three times. It asks him if he wants to hide his ID he's been hiding for a long time. He doesn't want to hide anymore. So the system gets ready to announce that Ko Ju Wang is Tae first one to kill the boss of the newbie zone. People are shocked to see that. They just started the game, and someone has already killed the boss solo. The team that tried to invite Wang Jin have also killed a giant buffalo. The boss are sure that it's the boss, and now they will get praised by their beautiful girl. Then they also get shocked to see that Wang has killed the boss, and has earned 1000 reputation points and silver chest. System is still congratulating Wang for killing a higher level boss, and earning 1.5 times experience. He also level up from 2 to 7. He jumped 5 level in one go. As for the 30 unassigned attribute points, he adds them all in his agility. Now, his attack power is 65. His strength is 6, agility is 39, spirit is 5, defense is 8, HP is 1860, magic is 50, accuracy is 80, evasion is 15, attack speed is 1.5, luck is 0, charisma is 2, and movement speed is 18. He added all his point in agility because he is a ranger, and classes like ranger and assassin. Increasing agility increases both their attack power and evasion, and his HP is already way higher than any newbie. Now he gets ready to check the drops. Thanks to his passive evolution, his loot item's quality has increased automatically. 10 silver coins has evolved to 10 gold coins. He is surprised to see that he got 10 gold coins, which is impossible to get in newbie area. People only get copper coins in the newbie area, but he got gold coin. His skill starts to glow. A second evolution has triggered. He gets ready to evolve again. And what is he going to evolve this time? I think it's going to be his bloodline. And, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it then do 500 likes for part 2. Watch this video here. Also like and subscribe for more.